Hey everyone, welcome to another stream. Um, yeah, we're going to play some Super Mario Brothers games tonight. Uh, specifically the NES games. I plan on playing through parts 1, 2, and 3, uh, which I don't think I've done here on stream in a little while. It is uh, New Year's Day as of doing the stream, so Happy New Year everybody. Hopefully 2023 is a lot better than 2022, because 2022 is not a very good year for me personally, at least outside of YouTube. Um, <laughs> but yeah, happy new year. Um, uh, yeah, we are going to try to play through, uh, the whole game, start to finish, uh, all the levels preferably. Well, not all, uh, once we get to Super Mario Brothers 3, we'll probably skip a lot of stages, but I do want to try to go through every world, uh, in all of these games. So, you know, especially once we get to Super Mario 3, it could be a rather lengthy stream, but, uh, we shall see. And then at the end of it, if I have uh, some energy left in me, I will potentially switch over to some uh, other Mario games. Uh, maybe we can mess around with uh, the original Mo Mario Bros. on NES, which was a port of the original arcade game, uh, as well as uh, maybe fire up Super Mario World on Super Nintendo. Uh, I make zero promises. <laughs> the main focus to start is basically the NES games, and then we'll just kind of see how I feel afterwards. But uh, yeah, welcome everybody to the stream. Looks like we have a pretty good turnout already, uh, which I really appreciate. Uh, we have a ton of people here in chat, actually. We have uh, John Smith, uh, Wrong Surgeon, Joseph, Dwayne Foy, Zanctum, uh, Dark Swan, LML, Justin, uh, Gedeltz, Freddy, Leo, uh, Pages, uh, Franz, or Franz, Aberdeen. Let's see. I uh, don't want to miss anybody. Steve-O, Half-Blind Gamer, Seb, what's going on? Uh, Zero, what's up, Zero? And uh, 240. And uh, Gotcham, I see Gotcham's out there. And uh, Tony Hayden, Rob M, uh, 88 Tyler. Oh, I think that's everybody, actually. But yeah, thanks, uh, guys, for popping in. Oh, Big Dogs just popped in. Chain Sawyer, Greg N, Monterance. Yeah, welcome, guys. Um, we must have a lot of people that don't have a lot going on tonight because <laughs> we got a bunch of people in here already, uh, which is pretty cool. So uh just give me a few moments here and I'm gonna zoom in my uh screen a little bit so i can actually kind of read the chat a little bit easier hey pure logarithm welcome back and uh yeah so for anybody wondering we are actually playing on the mr fpga today uh normally for nes stuff i would just use my avs console um but uh, in the the very slim chance we might switch to super nintendo uh, I wanted something that would be uh, able to allow me to do that pretty easily. And the Mr. Um, is that. So, hey, Burger Man, welcome to the stream. First stream I've been able to catch. Hell yeah. Well, it's the first time for everything, for better or for worse. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into uh, the first Super Mario Brothers. So, hey, Deborah, welcome to the stream. Let's turn down the uh, volume in my headphones. Yeah, sorry it took so long to, uh, you know, get the stream started and going, but it allowed people to trickle in, which was nice. Uh, you guys got to see my cats, which I haven't been able to show off in, uh, quite some time now. Um, but, uh, I, I was, like, a couple months behind on, like, my Patreon slides and stuff like that. And I, I had promised people that I'd get them updated, so, you know, people that are actually monetarily supporting the channel get the credit where, uh, you know, where it's due. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, Douglas, Happy New Year as well. But yeah, good old Super Mario Brothers. I, you know, sorry I wasn't actually streaming last night on YouTube. I, uh, the original plan was to actually do a New Year's Eve stream because, um, a lot of people are around, a lot of people want to watch video games, a lot of people are ready to just have a good time. Um, but, uh, I was kind of sleep deprived yesterday. And uh, by the end of the day, after my work shift, I, I just was not feeling it. So, um, unfortunately, uh, I ended up not streaming last night, but I was like, you know, let me at least try to do a stream on New Year's Day. Um, and last night was going to be a Super Nintendo stream. Um, but I didn't really feel like doing that today. So, uh, I was like, what can I do that I just kind of feel like playing? in the moment, that's just fun, I don't really have to think about too much, and, uh... I was like, Super Mario Brothers games! I haven't done that in a while, so... 
Uh, a lot of people don't know the uh, the Mario games on NES are some of my uh, favorite games from that era, especially the first game here. It is uh, yeah one of my most played games of all time, honestly. I'm seeing some screen tearing here, which is actually kind of weird. I don't know if that's just my capture. I don't know if that's coming through on the uh, uh, the whatever. Let's go to uh, the video options real quick. I thought I had uh, I thought I had it on uh, interpolation. Uh, how do we get to it again? I always forget because I don't have to uh, mess around with this too much. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's horizontal interpolation. Uh, I mean, maybe that is what I need. But basically, uh, you have different filters you can apply on the mister here. And um, the interpolation... The interpolation is more for screen shimmer. Not so much screen tearing. Maybe it's just uh, what I'm seeing in OBS. Maybe it's actually not coming through on the stream. But yeah, that was kind of bothering me. These are fast-paced games, and the screen scrolls pretty quickly. I'm not seeing screen tearing in person, though. That's the weird thing, so... It's maybe just OBS isn't updating. Hey, Kurt, welcome. Aberdeen asks, did I have a, a good New Year's celebration? Eh, meh, it was okay. Another day for me. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I basically just streamed on Twitch last night. I had uh, a bit of alcohol. Uh, a bit is an understatement. Um, and I was just playing random stuff that I just kind of felt like playing last night. I was playing a lot of Beat Mania, and then uh, I did some Sega City and Genesis stuff. Hey, Mike, welcome back. And Joe? Joe says it looks good. Okay, cool. Must just be uh, how OBS is updating on the preview. Justin says these Mario games are really feel-good games for him. Yeah, me too. All of them on NES, really? Uh, but especially the first one. Like, this is the, the most pick-up-and-play of the bunch, in my opinion. Uh, at least for me, personally. It's just run, jump, hit stuff get through the game relatively quickly. It's not a terribly long game, even if you play through all the levels. Assuming you're not dying left and right, obviously. <laughs> that could extend your game time uh, quite a bit, if you are dying a lot. <laughs> Mike says, I caught that Chuck Rock playthrough. He had the Genesis version as a kid and sucked at it. But I beat it for him, so now he doesn't have to. <laughs> it's a fun game, though, man. Uh, Chuck Rock is... Uh... Yeah, it's a fun game. It's not even that hard, honestly, um, outside of the Stage 3 boss. It's mainly just the Stage 3 boss. It's really challenging. For all the wrong reasons, of course. Typical Western developed platformer in that regard. A lot of Western developed platformers aren't difficult. Um, but let me go back a step. They're they're usually if they're really difficult, they're usually really difficult for all the wrong reasons, <laughs> like poorly thought out or or something like that. Usually Japanese developed games from this time period were hard for, in my opinion, the right reasons. Um, but that's not across the board. There are some Japanese action games from back in the day that are just insanely brutal, also for all the wrong reasons. Hey, Red Zero Ranger, welcome back. But Chuck Rock is actually, a lot of people kind of uh, crap on that game, but it's, it's really fun. Again, like I said in my playthrough, if you treat it like it's Ninja Gaiden, and you're just jump kicking all the time, it's uh, it's fast and it's responsive and it's it's just fun. Good arcadey style fun. All right, making progress at World Two Three already. I prefer to keep the Fire Flower if possible. It's insanely useful in this game.
Port of an Amiga game. Was it even designed to be played with a controller? Um... I don't know. Probably not. I mean, most Amiga games, like, you know, would use one button. So you'd probably have to press up to jump and, and, and whatnot, but... Uh... Regardless whether it was or not, I mean, it translates perfectly fine to a controller. Uh, I think Chuck Rock actually plays really well. It's got some pretty big uh, character hitboxes, too, so you can kind of get away with a bunch of things that you might not be able to in, in another game. Oh! There we go. That was not good. Had a Milo walk right in front of me as I was as I was playing. Uh oh, this could end poorly. Is he gonna make the jump? He's going for the full jump. Oh, he went for the full jump. Look at that little crazy guy. Now he's trying to figure out if he wants to pounce on patchouli. <laughs> Good old cats. They are entertaining. And I had to do something real quick. All right. Okay. Yeah, I can't grab that. I always forget how those uh, hidden one-ups work. There is some rhythm and rhyme to it. running jump here. I saw a block was, like, stuck in the ground. I've never seen that before. I wonder if that's a glitch. An FPGA glitch. Zero asks, what are my thoughts on the lost levels? Um, it's cool. It's really, really hard, though. Really, really hard. Ah, messed that up. Oh, well, no one-up trick for us. Off the Monster says, people sleep on this game, and they shouldn't. There's less variety, and that makes this game hard in spots. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think hard is kind of subjective. I think this game's pretty easy overall, and the spots that are hard are pretty consistently doable, if you know what you're doing. And uh, it is one of those, those games where it's like, you know, when you take a hit, you're big Mario, you turn into small Mario, uh, you have a lot of invincibility frames. And there are some sections where you can just use that and just go right through the hard part. So, you know, there's pretty easy ways to mitigate the challenge in this game. I think people that usually think this is really hard probably don't have a ton of experience beating tough games. Now, if Super Mario Brothers is your only frame of reference, then yeah, I could see it being difficult. But if you've gone through stuff like Castlevania and Ninja Gaiden, and this will be a walk in the park. Especially compared to some later Super Marios. I mean, like, even Super Mario Brothers 3, uh, and Super Mario Brothers 2 USA has, has some, some pretty tough levels. Especially once you get to, like, uh, you know, World 8 and um, Mario 3. There's some crazy stuff there. Hey, Josie, uh, thank you for the, uh, the super chat. Much appreciated. I'll have to turn up my speakers so we can hear those better next time. But if anyone has any trouble with certain parts in this game, just let me know where, and I can try to explain my way through it when I get there. I know in World 5, there's uh, one section where there's a, uh, a hammer brother at the top of a staircase, and if you don't have the fire flower, that's it's hard to get through that without taking a hit. And then, of course, the Hammer Brother right before Bowser on, on uh, Bowser's Castle in World 8. So... What you guys want really hard, play versus Super Mario Brothers. Now, that sucker's hard. I still haven't actually finished that. I've gotten to uh, near the end of World 7, and I think there's a puzzle castle there, and I never, I never figured it out. And even getting there is still pretty tough. <laughs> Uh, apparently, Versus Super Mario Brothers actually uses a few levels from uh, the Japanese Famicom Super Mario 2. Uh, but it also has um, remixes of Super Mario Brothers 1 levels. 
Planet X, welcome to the stream. Hey, Will, what's going on? Hey, Dasan. Happy New Year. I just love the flow in this game, and it's so good. And being able to like duck and jump is really, really helpful too. I just, I just love the momentum and the the flow in this game. You're not always going through uh, every section the same way every time you play the game. You know, like some of the stuff I did there at the end, I don't usually do. Like with the ducking and jumping and, and that stuff. But you just have a lot of flexibility in this game. Despite it being a very simple point A to point B kind of game, the physics just take the whole experience to another level. And it, it really helps uh, with this game's longevity. It's why the game is still so good now, uh, well over 35 years later. Hey, Planet X, thank you very much for that. How long are you going to be streaming tonight? Uh, it depends, I don't know. I'm going to stream until I get through uh, all three NES games. And Super Mario 3 is a pretty long game in one sitting, so... I mean, it could be three or four hours. And whether I keep going is going to depend on just how, how I feel. I did wake up really late today, because I was up all night last night. Yeah, so this is the first of uh, two puzzle castles. Well, three puzzle castles, technically. Uh, world Castle number eight is also a puzzle castle. I always forget, but I, I know the route specifically. I know exactly where to go on that castle, so I always forget it's actually a puzzle castle. No, thank you, Planet X. Much appreciated. Appreciate that donation. So we're at World 5, which is uh, one of the areas that is pretty challenging for a lot of people because, again... Oh! I slipped up. There's, uh, there's a Hammer Brother on one of these levels at the top of a staircase, and it's uh, very tough to get past it without the Fire Flower or having Big Mario. Oh, you were there last night, Dasan? Oh, wish you said something. But yeah, you fell asleep. <laughs> we played a bunch of cool games last night. We played a bunch of shmups, too, which I know would have been right up your alley. <laughs> Wrong Surgeon says, in case you want to try stress, Celeste is great. <laughs> Yeah, Celeste is a pretty challenging game, but it's it's a great game. Definitely recommend it if you guys haven't played it. I have a, a blind playthrough of that from a couple years ago. The, uh... Oh, this is it right here, actually. So... Now, probably what's gonna end up happening is I'm not gonna successfully get through this, uh, so I'm gonna have to take a hit, use my invincibility frames, and then just, whoop, go right through them. And that's fine, you know? They give you the tools to do that. It's like, turn into Big Mario, and then just utilize that. Tank your way through the uh, Hammer Brother. It's a perfectly fair strategy. Oh, Dasan, wow, yeah, you popped into that stream super early then. Yeah, I played Beat Mania for like two hours last night, so... Yeah, you didn't even see the Sega CD stuff. And the Genesis stuff. I, I played a few Genesis games. Played Contra Hardcore. Got about halfway through it. Oops. I meant to do the uh, the coins first. Uh, 
Stevo, I don't think it's actually possible to jump over the flagpole in this game. Unless there's like some special trick I don't know about. Uh, the only way we ever went over the flagpole back in the day is using Game Genie. I have never done it manually. Now you can do it in the, uh, the Lost Levels, if you play as Luigi. Oops. <laughs> but just keep playing, Will. This is not, like, a crazy hard game, and it's just... It's just run, jump, run, jump, run, jump, run, jump. Just keep running and keep jumping, Will. You'll get there eventually. You want something that's a little more impressive? Go watch me play Battletoads. <laughs> but thank you, Will. I appreciate it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna actually come up this way. Oh. Oh, I hit his horn. Hey, Planet X with another Super Chat. So Super Mario Bros. 2 is one of the weirdest, yet best video games he's ever played. Looking forward to seeing me play it. Yeah, I, I love Super Mario 2. I'd probably go back and do a full run of it at least once a year. You know, ironically, Super Mario Bros. 3 is actually the one I probably play the least these days. Um, but I still love that one as well. I, uh, I played it so much as a kid, though. And it's also a much more, like, grueling experience if you're trying to go through the whole game. Uh, I'm one of those gamers, those retro gamers, that likes to go through their games in one sitting. In Super Mario Bros. 3, it's not really conducive to that. There's no save system. If you want to go through all eight worlds, it is a boatload of content. You know what's funny? I might actually be able to beat Mario World faster than I could beat Mario 3. That's really saying something. But it's still an amazing game, though. I mean, it deserves all the praise it gets. But I definitely find myself playing Mario 1 and 2 much more often, because I can... Even if I go through the entire games uh, for, for both of them, like, it's still significantly shorter than Mario 3. <laughs> Red Zero Ranger says, after watching my Chuck Rock playthrough, he was wondering, on average, how much do I practice a game? My Let's Plays are always pretty skillfully played. Uh, it depends on the game. Yeah, it totally depends on the game. Uh, so Chuck Rock, I, I went through about three or four times back in November. And for that quick play, uh, I think what I did is I think I only did one more practice run last week. Or two weeks ago, whenever I recorded it. Yeah, I think I only did one practice run. And then just went ahead and just went through it. Um, so I guess three or four runs back in November, just because I w it wasn't like I was preparing for a quick play. I was sick back then. I was just trying to experiment with games I hadn't played in a long time. And... Uh, that was one I ended up just being able to kind of rip through without too much trouble. And then I was started getting interested in the version differences, so I was doing the Sega CD version back then, but then I also played the Genesis version. I've still been meaning to go back and play through the Super Nintendo version. I might still do that and then try to do like a, a dual play, as I uh, would call them. Right, it's like a side-by-side -side long play. I just put them side-by-side, -side, no commentary or anything. For something like, uh... Hmm. So when I first started doing the quick play format, um... A lot of them I would just go into kind of... Not, not blind, because a lot of the games I would already know. I prefer already knowing them. Um, but I, w I would go in without practicing. And uh, now I try to practice. They've kind of just turned into my old Let's Play format again. 
because I just, I want to show off good gameplay. You know, I don't really care how entertaining it is, I just want to show off good gameplay. Um, because that's what I help people, you know. Yeah, good gameplay will help people, people that are trying to actually be able to beat these games, so I know I've had a lot of comments over the years saying like, hey, we'd rather actually see you go in blind because it's more entertaining, but it's like, yeah, I mean, that's fine, entertainment's good, but I'd rather usefulness take, uh, take priority. So... So I, I've started practicing for my videos again. And, uh... Yeah, I always forget how to do this, man. I always get it wrong. I used to be able to do it. Now I can't do it anymore. Uh, Mike says, Chuck Rock might have been over an hour if you played the Sega CD version. Uh, it would be about 45 minutes, Mike. It, uh, there's not really any load times in that game, which is kind of nice. And, um... It does have about 20 to 25 minutes of extra levels, basically extra content. Someone mentioned, uh, Faxanadu. That must have been Aberdeen. <laughs> Alright, I will, uh, I'll scroll through chat when I'm at a point where, like, we don't have enemies trying to kill me. It is kind of fun going through this as Small Mario, though. You know, I should do, like, a Small Mario-only challenge. Where I have to only play a Small Mario for the whole playthrough. That would definitely make things interesting. Because you're it's, you're always one hit away from uh, losing. Losing a life. Oh, Justin mentioned Faxanadu. Okay. That stream got him hooked on the channel, hell yeah. I need to go relearn that game and do an updated stream. You know, the longer I space it out from the last one, the more uh, I'm motivated to go back and revisit it. Hey, 90 gaming's, 90s gaming guy. <laughs> Planet X's controversial opinion. Back Sanity was the best NES game ever made. <laughs> it's a pretty good game. It was one of my favorites growing up. <laughs> Jessica says, when we got an idiots for Christmas when they were a kid, we also got ghosts and goblins. First time we tried to jump kick a zombie. First time playing, we tried to jump kick a zombie. Yeah, that doesn't work in that game. I bet that had funny results. Uh... Uh, Deborah asks, do I, uh, have the Mario Game & Watch and Legend of Zelda Game & Watch? Are you talking the ones that have, like, the original Marios and Zeldas on them? I have the Zelda one. I, I impulse bought that, uh, back in November. And I've used it approximately once. <laughs> I wanted the Super Mario one, but ended up not getting it. Um, I'm not sure if I will get it because I haven't used the Zelda one. I, I, I thought I was going to use it. I was like, man, this would be a great excuse to play through Zelda 1 and 2 again, and maybe learn the second quest of Zelda 1. I never did. It's been a couple months now. <laughs> Mike says, Back Sanity was so brown, and it was the Call of Duty of its day. <laughs> uh... Yeah, there are, there, I mean, every generation has, has been guilty of, uh, games with just kind of, like, poor color palettes. I think it, I think it works in, uh, Faxanadu's case, though. Now, I always forget the, uh, solution here, so this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a pain. Trial and an error. Hey, I think that was it.
Nice. <laughs> it's the only NES game where every NPC smokes. <laughs> Mike says it's a crime that NES Remix is not on Switch. Yeah, it would be really nice if it was. It would be nice if they ported some of those other Wii U games to Switch as well. Mario Remix would be a, a great one to bring over. And I'm surprised they still haven't done uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X. That game would actually probably end up being a slight upgrade on Switch, maybe. Well, I don't know. It is a pretty expansive game. Pretty long draw distances and stuff like that. But Breath of the Wild had a slight uh, bump in resolution and frame rate on Switch. Not, it wasn't like night and day or anything, but it is still a difference. <laughs> Got it. Hey, Christopher, welcome back. It's been a while. Paxanity was better than Legend of Zelda? Uh, yeah, to each their own. I, I, I definitely prefer Zelda over Faxanadu. But I would put Faxanadu right behind them. I mean, in terms of games of its type, I actually probably would put it right behind the Zeldas. Like, for me, my, my favorite action adventure games on the NES would be Zelda 1 and 2, and then Faxanadu. That would be me, personally. But man, the Zeldas are... Hmm. Those are tough to beat. Less jank in the Zeldas, too. <laughs> hey, Vector Man and Cafe Man. Lots of mans. Mike says, have I uh, tried Crystallis? Uh, I tried it a tiny bit. Not not enough to, like, say one way or the other whether I, like, really like it or not. Uh, it has been on my to-do list because it, it it's pretty well-revered amongst uh, kind of diehard NES fans, so... By the way, if anyone struggles with this level, if you die and go back to the beginning of this stage, um... You can have the Fire Flower before this last section here. It's pretty much guaranteed, as long as you don't get hit by the earlier Hammer Brothers, so... And on the World 8-4! Knights of Old, this is Clash at Demon Head. I have I've beaten that game before, a long time ago. I tried actually relearning it early last year, I think. Or maybe it was the year before, I don't know. I play so many games, they all blend together. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back and, and relearn that and do a stream of it here. It's just a matter of when. Oh, Mike, I, did, I totally forgot there was a Game Boy Color remake. Yeah, I would definitely do the uh, NES game, for sure. I mean, if it was, if it was like, popular back in the day and it's on NES, like, I will probably do the original version, like, NES, so. Alright, getting close to the end here. And having a Fire Flower Mario is actually, makes this part a lot easier. Flawless victory! Fatality! <laughs> Aberdeen says, don't have negative thoughts. Remember your mantra. <laughs> the true final boss is actually the Hammer Brother. <laughs> Thanks for the GG's, guys. I appreciate that. Yes, yeah, so a singular Hammer Brother like that actually isn't that bad to get past if you're small Mario. You just have to run underneath him, 
the the big issue is knowing when to actually start running because his jumps seem to be uh, completely random as far as I can tell. So you have to be really, really quick, like on the dime. But don't let it freak you out. Just, uh, just do it. Just do it. Alright. Oh, we're not gonna do the uh, second quest. It's basically the same, just with some buzzy beetles. It's uh, not that much harder, honestly. Uh, it's kind of overrated in difficulty. So we are going to switch over to Super Mario Bros. 2. Or Super Mario Bros. USA, I should clarify. And uh, these are my kitties, by the way. The one on the right is Milo. For anyone that uh, forgot I got a cat again, or second cat last year. And the one on the left is Patchouli, which is what the uh, pause screen is named after. Yeah, Mike, you're right. Uh, if you hold A and press start at the title screen in Super Mario Brothers, you can continue. Which is very handy if you're trying to learn the game. Was that code in the instruction manual? I'm not sure. Hey, Palcho, welcome. Will they still fight to sign? Well, I should say they, they, they play. But Patchouli never got out of hissing at Milo when they do play. They're perfectly friendly 90% uh, of the time. Um, but when they start playing, like, they get kind of violent with each other. They don't, like, claw each other, though, so it is just play. They're not, like, trying to kill each other, but Patrulli still goes, like, <laughs> she, she sounds like a completely different cat. And, uh, it bothered me the first few months they were together, but, uh, it's just, it just is what it is. I just have to live with it. All right. Start off with Mario here. Christopher says he uh, recalls beating this and was annoyed that it was all just a dream. Aww. I love that it was all just a dream. Because then you get that awesome uh, ending sequence. With that awesome, like, you know, heartfelt ending tune. Yeah, so this is a very different game, and most of you guys probably already know, but this was Doki Doki Panic in Japan. Or I should say, this was a modified version of that. Heavily modified, actually. Um, and it's it's the more entertaining game of the two. It's, it's designed a lot better than Doki Doki Panic. If you go and you, you play both back-to-back, -back, it's like, whoa, okay. They, they made a lot of changes for the better. And this is just, uh, it feels so much better as, like, a... Super Mario game. Now, we are not going to Warp Zone. It is super tempting, because this is a longer game than the first Super Mario Brothers. You can also charge up, and then do some super jumps. There we go. And here's Birdo. Uh, throw their eggs back. Leo says the continue trick is not in the Super Mario 1 manual scan that Nintendo put online with the NES Classic Edition. Okay, good to know, Leo. Justin checked on as well. It says nothing about the continue trick. Okay. So that's one of those things that um, was in the game, obviously, but uh, wasn't heavily advertised back in the day. So some of those, like, really... Uh, some of those NES games that do have continue codes, uh, some of them, like, I want to say the first Adventure Island actually has it in the instruction manual. Normally what you'd have to do here, by the way, is get a key, but with Luigi, I like to just super jump over. Just skip it. 
Um... Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's right. It's, uh... I think it's this one. Yep, it's that one. Oh, well. So if you want to try to get uh, extra lives and stuff like that... Whoa. You need to uh, go through those doors by using those potions. And then be where the radishes are in the ground, and then you pick them up in the, um... I forgot what it was called. I'm just gonna call it the Twilight Zone. <laughs> The other realm, the other dimension, or whatever, and then you pick up the radishes, you'll get coins, and you can earn extra lives here. Hey, Simon, welcome back. How are you doing? Okay, I don't even think I can make that with Toad. Oh, I can. Okay, just super jump. Toad picks up things the fastest. He's pretty good in that regard. And there's a star, don't really care about it. You get stars by picking up enough cherries. You can also get mushrooms in this uh, alternate dimension. Oh, I slipped off. I pressed the jump button, but it did not register. Oh, it's subcon, I think. I think pure. As in, like, subconscious. Oops, I actually did not want to do that. Let's actually grab this. I don't trust myself after dying there. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Oh, that's horrible. I can't get a game over on the first world. I mean, I shouldn't even get a game over, period. But, man, okay, that is not good. Go grab some more coins again. Oh, huh. That was weird. They are not giving me coins. I, I guess uh, maybe there's an actual coin limit. That's very interesting. Alright, so I think we're gonna have to come up here and get a key. I need a key. Okay, I can super jump. Hey, thanks Uber Disco. How are you doing, man? How did the rest of your stream go last night? I love the, uh, like, the bongo samples. It's probably not bongos, but you know what I mean. The percussive samples. It's pretty sweet. Alright, boss time! Seriously, Toad, come on. <laughs> you couldn't squeeze through that. Alright, three hits. Hopefully we can get some extra lives here. So far, no good. Yay, 
two extra lives. Go ahead. All right. Well, we're back up to the default amount of lives, at least. All right, so on to level two. I'm going back to Mario. Oh, you played Sonic Adventure last night. Nice. It's another one I want to eventually try to go through and finish for the first time. I've never actually beaten that game. I got fairly far into it, but not far enough. Go ahead and grab this star. I'm constantly jumping there because that is quicksand. You do, uh. You can get sucked down pretty quickly if you're not careful, so. I try to just keep jumping. Toad is actually really good in these desert areas because, again, he digs the fastest of the bunch. Uh, Vector Man, I agree, yeah. Sonic Adventure has a really nice soundtrack. I mean, it's definitely, you know, even, like, in modern times, that's definitely a highlight of the, the current Sonic games from, from the last 20 years. Even the quote-unquote, even the quote-unquote, like, bad Sonic games still have really good soundtracks, oftentimes. Up to three lives. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just stick it out with Mario for now. I know I'm gonna switch over to Princess on uh, the Ice World. Mario is definitely the most well-rounded of the bunch. He actually feels a lot like he does in Super Mario World. Oh, nice. I actually don't know where a lot of the mushrooms are, because this is one of those games I usually just try to kind of blitz through. I just play it really fast. It's really fun if I play it fast. Well, did not mean to do that. Let's actually go this way. Since I've got a star, let's just run through this. <laughs> nice. Yeah, after you kill a certain amount of enemies, you make a heart appear. Which allows you to uh, replenish some of your health. star. Nice. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> Desan says he never liked Luigi in this game. Luigi has some really nice perks, though. Like, his super high jump is, is really useful, especially if you want to sequence break certain parts. So this Birdo starts shooting uh, fireballs at you. And one thing I like that you can do is you can actually throw kind of quickly at a, you know, long range just by um, picking up your item, pressing forward, jump, and then attack at the, like, one right after another. So the timing's a little tricky, but you can do some uh, pretty nice hits by doing that. Do -do 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 -do.
Uh, Uber, I, I kind of know what you're talking about, man, but dude, listen, uh, when you're playing these games, and I've seen you play games a lot, because I watch your stream, you need to just learn the games, and don't worry about rushing your way through or anything like that. And then you go through them again, and then you go through them again, and again and again and again and again. You're not gonna master the games right away. It's just a fact of life, so... You just gotta be patient, man. Learn from your mistakes. Hell, don't be afraid to ask someone like me for help if it's something like I've played. You're like, well, Austin, what am I doing wrong? And I can point out exactly what you're freaking doing wrong. <laughs> it's one thing I'm good for <laughs> in this life. So don't let it get to you, man. They're just video games, too, so... I wonder if... I don't know, let's see. We've got a star. Oh, is that it? There's no actual boss? No, there's a boss. Okay, I was gonna say. I forgot we're on the last stage of this world already. This is, uh... A fun boss. I'm actually, you know, it's funny, not used to going through the whole game. So I always forget, like, what bosses appear where, because a lot of times I just skip them. Because I use the warp zones. I like the uh, simple graphical effect they use here, too, to make the blocks look shiny. It actually is a little more convincing on a CRT. And basically what they do is they just draw the tiles and just have, like, a tiny little white, uh, like, etch. Uh, you know, on the corners of them. And when you're focused on other parts, it actually looks like the blocks are kind of like th three dimensional and shiny, but it's actually just a, such a simple effect. Uh, and again, it looked really good on a CRT. Nintendo was just always really good at details like that. It's simple details, but they were effective. So Uber says, uh. Screw up things you do right all the time, and you've been letting it get to me. Well, then you just gotta stop screwing up the things you get right all the time, Uber. And stop trying to speedrun games, man. Like I said, just try to beat the games. Once you start, like, taking them a little more casually, and you're not trying to, like, do world records and stuff like that. Like, the, the, you just, you just play. And a, and a big part of it, too, man, is you just have to learn how to play smart. Like... You want to stop making the same mistakes over and over on things you're probably good at? Well, you need to just play smarter. Play smarter, not harder. Scott says, this game is a graphical masterpiece for the NES. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty darn good, Scott. I agree. So we have to just keep going upwards. Yeah, and a lot of these visual effects and stuff like that aren't even in Doki Doki Panic. It's one of the other reasons why uh, Super Mario USA, in my opinion, is just a, a superior game. Uh, I don't know where to go. Let's let's just try this here. Oh, nice. I will take that. Thank you. 
Oh! <laughs> Punished! Yeah, I mean, Uber, quit caring about PBs. Like, seriously, dude, just focus on beating the game. Like, don't even worry about how fast you're going through the game. Even if you're just trying to improve your time a tiny bit. The time does not matter. What matters is how consistently you get through the game. When your consistency goes up, that's really all that matters. Unless you're trying to actually speedrun. Just don't worry about PBs. Like, I think you're just overthinking the whole beating the game process. Just play the games, try to beat them, get better at them slowly over time, and then just don't stress it, man. Seriously, dude. It's not worth it. And then have your girlfriend smack the crap out of you when you do start caring and you start getting mopey about it. Blaze, are you out there? Can you hear me? Can you smack Uber whenever he gets mopey? <laughs> She said yes. Thank you, Blaze. <laughs> hey, Samantha. Samantha says, I enjoy speedruns with games I hate. Nothing like seeing someone wipe the floor with ghosts and goblins. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is... Well, the other thing about speedruns in particular is, like, you actually learn a lot just by watching them. You learn a bunch of new strategies. Um, that, in, in, in some ways, aren't even necessarily speed strategies. They're just like, oh, this is how you handle this situation super easily. And it's like, oh, I never even thought of trying that. So, I, you know, I've learned a lot from speedruns just, um, with my casual, like, regarding casual playthroughs. Like, I, I just, I take things I see and I just apply them to a regular playthrough. I mean, Uber, I told you about my luck last night, right? I mean, obviously, it's a different area of life, what I was talking about. But trust me, man, when, when stuff like that starts happening, like, you don't even care about what your video game life is like, seriously. Um, just be appreciative that, you know, you're streaming, you enjoy games, you, you've got a lot of great stuff, you're really into your hardware and stuff like that, and just keep rolling with it, man. Don't, like I said, don't stress it. Unfortunately, I think I messed this up. I'm going to end up having to, to do this again. Yeah. Oh yeah, 90s gaming guy. I, I'm there with you. I mean, speedruns can be really fun to watch. Absolutely. I didn't use these just in case. I don't remember how many more walls there are. Oh! No more. Alright, cool. What am I gonna make it hard up here? Let's see. Nope. Not enough enemies. Oh, I can technically grind on the enemies. I probably don't need to. I'm probably close to the end of this level already. Levels in this game aren't typically that, uh, that long. But yeah, you can just respawn the enemies and grind out a little bit. There he goes. Oh, I don't even need to do a super jump. I'm Mario! I can jump a little bit higher than Toad. Oh, God! I fell off the ladder. That was my fault completely. <laughs> Moving a little too fast for my own good. Alright, let's play it nice and safe here. Jeez.
That should be fine. Oh, I might have picked the wrong one. <laughs> yep. Ah, go figure. It's not a big deal. Uh, do I like the Wario games? Uh, I have barely played them. Uh, the one- the only one I really played a lot of was Wario Land on Virtual Boy, and I thought it was a great game, but I haven't really messed around with the other ones very much. It's also on my to-do list, I've always wanted to try to go through them. I guess I can technically switch sides like this. It's probably the intended strategy. But I like taking shortcuts sometimes. Ooh. That hurt. Hey, I am Weasel. Welcome back. Woo! Wonder who's gonna keep trying to chase me. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, it is technically, but I mean, just. I was wondering if it was just gonna keep circling around. Like, I go to the left, it goes to the left, and then follows me to the other side of the screen. Never mind. I'm not explaining this very well. The better strategy is to drop your key, then it goes away for a few moments. But I'm, I'm having fun just seeing how, how much I can push the uh, envelope. if I'm going the right way. I guess we're gonna find out. Whoops! is a wee bit slippery. I'm letting that get to me sometimes. There we go, got myself a heart. Mm, this might actually run right into me. Nice. I guess that was the right way. Another heart. And I haven't seen some of these areas in such a long time because I always warp through the game. Mm, 
he takes more than three hits now. Interesting. Got him. Alright, so... We should be on World 4 now, I think. So let's switch over to Princess. Princess Toadstool. And Princess can float for a little bit, which is nice. Very good in this level. Especially if you're doing the ducking version of it. I am not warping through Super Mario 3, no. But, I'm also not gonna play every level, because that game is, like, stupid long. Especially if I want to switch over to Mario World later. It would be awesome if I could play through all those games. Um, but we'll see. Mario 3 can be pretty grueling. Stick this one out with Princess all the way. Whoop, that was close. I'm just gonna kind of run through this part, not gonna worry about the, uh, the mushrooms and whatnot. But with Princess, you can just hop from a uh, water spout to water spout. It's really nice. The mechanics of this game are so good. So much flexibility. Yeah, I said a similar thing about Super Mario 1, but this has flexibility in a different way. It's, uh, you have so many different ways to play the game based on character abilities and whatnot. Well, that was close. So I think we want to actually sit on this egg. Ride this guy down. And that's probably not going to work. <laughs> oh, it does work. Nice. Oh, why did I do that? I was... I wanted to try to grab one and see if a heart would appear, but whoops.
Still no heart. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That was cheap. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Let's try this again. Got it. Slick moves, princess. <laughs> it's kind of funny they have a fire guy in an ice place. I wonder if that was intentional. Baby fire guys. There we go. There's one. Nice three for one deal. I actually did not mean to pick Princess, but that's okay. Kind of want to go back to Mario at this point. Go ahead and try to get some coins. I have died a couple times. Alright, we have to ride these guys. Oh my god! Oh, why don't I do that? I slipped off. <laughs> oh man. Slipping off things is something I've been really good at in this playthrough so far. Now, but to be fair, those fish as platforms are really, really small, so it is a little tricky. Oh, nice. One up. I will take that. I think I went... I think I did the wrong one again. I'm good at doing the wrong one. Oh, I did the right one. Get out of here. Oh, it's not going to go off screen. Interesting. I think this bird is all fire. <laughs> Take an egg for coming in. Yeah, that is true. You never finish uh, the level with a key. A key might be involved getting through the level, but you never end the level with a key. Take a key for coming in.
Slow down. Jason's heading out. All right, take care, man. Have a good night. Ooh, that was close. I was trying to jump off the vine, but sometimes I'm bad at that. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> this is some Mega Man type stuff right here. Woo! Making progress, guys. Making progress. After this game, I'm gonna take a break. Try to get some water in me. I've, uh, got dehydrated. After last night's liquor excursion and the amount of Diet Coke I've consumed today. Uh, whoa, that was close. I definitely need some water in me. Nice, got a star. I guess I could use these guys to bust through that wall. Not necessary, though. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Oh, can't do anything with that. Oh, this works. <laughs> that would have worked if I could aim right. <laughs> I didn't go far enough. Oh, nice, that worked. Little bit of improv going on here. Thank you. 
Oh! <laughs> Oops. <sighs> you know, I guess I don't even need to be riding this carpet. Killers Incorporated says, hey, uh, thanks for all the great content. I usually just watch replays, but wanted to say thanks. Hell yeah. Thank you very much, Skillers. I really appreciate that. Much appreciated. Oh. Hey, CM Retro, welcome back. Claw grip. I think in the credits it says claw glip. Probably a mistranslation. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't think it was gonna bounce me that far. Like, what the hell? That was crazy. Arguably the hardest boss in the game? A I mean, wart should be the hardest, but it's actually not that bad. There we go. Those rocks go pretty quickly. DG says Kirby's Adventure is one of my favorites. Hell yeah, that's a great game. We did Kirby uh, a couple years back. We did Kirby's Adventure on Game Boy? No, sorry, Kirby's Dream Land on Game Boy, and then we did Kirby's Adventure on NES. Back to back. That was pretty fun. Then I think I tried some other Kirby games too for the first time. That was a fun stream. Alright, I think this is, uh, this is World 6, right? Wasn't actually paying attention, but I'm pretty sure it is, because I always have to come here when I warp through the game. Whoop. And uh, there's only seven worlds in this game, unlike the eight of the first Super Mario Brothers. Really? Come on. <laughs> I keep missing. Stop missing! Thank you. <laughs> Alright, now we are gonna have to come down one of these pipes. Always forget which one it is. Is this first try? Yep, first try, wow. This is another all fire birdo. Oh, <laughs> look at that. That's funny. Can we go two for two? Hey, birdo, that's cheating. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, okay. That was that was unexpected. <laughs> Did not go exactly according to plan. Alright, so these guys we have to ride across the screen. Uber says, I thought High Seas Havoc was a naval sim for the longest time. You know, I think I did too, actually. I still haven't played it. Yeah, we're just basically skipping this level. <laughs> nice little trick. Progress. Last world. Only two levels. The second one is pretty big, though. And for this one, I'm just gonna skip by doing this. Now, I, I know I missed a mushroom and whatnot, but eh, it's not a big deal. Since we're in the final world, I don't really care if I get a game over. I, I think you get a couple continues by default. Good time to get a star. Makes this part a little bit easier. You gotta be kidding me! I try to get a little too slick with that. Oh, that's embarrassing. Alright, let's just skip that star. So much slowdown. 
But hey, it looks like some enemies won't spawn in if there are too many other enemies on screen. That's good to know. Ah, crap. That's not good. All right, there we go. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier, you know. You know, some people say the first Super Mario Brothers is so hard, but it's like, man, some of these other ones have some really tricky things to them. I'm not going to be able to reach that. Fire Birdo. All right, good deal. Last level, guys. This is a little, a little complex compared to some other levels. There's a lot of stuff going on here. And I am going to... Just skip right through that. get a uh, mushroom here. Yeah, nice. I could actually use that. That star appeared. <laughs> There's no way to grab that. Uh, Uber, yeah, Kirby's Adventure is no longer a $15 game. Uh, I think I had to pay like 30 for my cart uh, a little over a year ago. So you're probably not going to find one for 15 unless you manage to, like, you know, find one in a thrift store or something like that. And that's just... <laughs> I don't bank on that these days. At least in my area, thrift store deals are long gone if video games even appear to begin with. Kirby's Adventure is a great game, like, no doubt about it, but some of those NES games, um, that used to be, like, 10 or 15 bucks all day long, are no longer that price anymore, which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is. I hate saying that, because <laughs> I don't want these games to be expensive. Alright, I have to be careful here. Last life. Clock him on the head. All right, we're towards the end, guys. This is a nice little fake out right here. All 
Alright, it worked. So you want to just grab some veggies and throw them into his mouth when he opens it. It's not that hard. You just have to get the timing right, that's the tricky part. I think it takes like six hits or something like that. It's quite a few. That's it, guys. We just beat Super Mario Brothers 2. I'm going to take a uh, quick break, try to grab some water, and then uh, we will start on Super Mario Brothers 3. Yeah, I gave up on Toad pretty fast, and Luigi I don't usually play as, but there's there's some parts in this game where he's he's quite handy. Diamond, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for the GG's, everybody. Much appreciated. Boxed Mortal Kombat 3, Justin, is pretty common. It's not too expensive either. Hey, hey, Joe. Thanks for the GG. And XJ, yeah, I, I do agree. This, this ending is way more involved than most NES game endings, which is nice. It's memorable. This, uh, games like this kind of started to set the standard for what was to eventually come during the 16-bit era. Stuff like this was much more common during that generation. feeling we're gonna see a major viewership drop off after this because after seeing this everyone wants to fall asleep <laughs> the end and uh, speaking of sleeping look at that Alright guys, I'm gonna step away for a quick minute. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere, and we'll play through Super Mario Bros. 3. 
It'll take significantly longer than either of those two games. Probably longer than both of those games combined. Poncho, thank you very much for that. You made your parents' dog fall asleep while playing A Link to the Past all the way through a, night, a few nights back. Nice. Very nice. On to Super Mario Brothers 3. And we'll see how quickly we can get through this one. Now, thankfully, unlike Super Mario Brothers 1, <laughs> he's sniffing the carrot. <laughs> I don't know if I invaded his space or if he's going to actually like munch on the carrot. Does Milo go ham on his carrots? He does, Uber. He has three of them, along with a cucumber. And uh, they are constantly in different areas of the apartment. And a lot of times, if I spread them out over the apartment, he'll eventually drag them all into like a singular location by the end of the day. He's really funny about his carrots. And he'll do it behind your back, too. Like, you won't see him carrying the carrots, but he carries them all over the apartment and like moves them around. It's pretty funny. Uh, good old Super Mario Brothers 3.
Ooh, all right. Sorry, I had to pound down um, a bottle of water. Like I said, I'm not very hydrated today, so I'm starting to feel a little weird. All right. So a couple levels in, what I'm gonna be doing is the extra life trick. Very nice trick. And we can get ourselves a ton of lives. And by doing so, I don't really have to worry about lives over the course of the playthrough. Also, you can get the, uh, the stars at the end here if you run. If you're at a full speed, with a flashing P meter, um, and you, you bump into the corner of that box, you will get uh, a star. Three stars will give you uh, five extra lives. But I'm not going to really worry about those too much. What I want to do is worry about this. Scott says, Woohoo! Super Mario 3! That's right, Scott. Not a big deal. 26 lives, pretty good start, I'd say. <laughs> now, just like the other games, I'm not really going to be going for a ton of secrets or anything like that. Oops! <clears throat> I actually did want to go back and try to grind out some more one-ups, so but it's not a big deal. straight to the castle. Like I said, this is going to be kind of a long playthrough, so I'm not going to be doing all the levels. That's a fire flower, which I don't really want. Actually, it's not... Fire flower is actually not bad here. So I can use it for the mini-boss. But I'd rather have the, uh... rather have the leaf. And I'd kind of like to get the warp whistle just in case, but uh, I guess I'm not going to. I did say we're going to go through all these worlds normally, so we're going to have to actually play some of these levels, as opposed to skipping them. Yeah, Fire Flower is pretty cool. I don't usually have it in this game, though. Usually I have the, uh, the raccoon suit. Fighting those bosses with the uh, fire flowers, honestly, a little more fun. Oh, you know, it actually would have been better to get a Fire Flower. <laughs> I would have gotten more one-ups. That's okay. Can I do this without dying? No. I mean, this is definitely one of those games where I could probably beat the game without dying if I really put my mind to it. No singular level in this game, in my opinion, is, like, ridiculously hard. As long as you're taking your time. 
but it is a lot of work. Would I want to do something like that? Probably not. There are people uh, in the YouTube and Twitch sphere that love challenging themselves that way. Uh, I'm not really one of those people. I'd rather, like, learn a new game for the first time rather than try to perfect a, an existing one. Hmm, let's go ahead and do this. I should actually bust out my Super Mario 3 strategy guide. Oh, nice. Got lucky. Because it has all the solutions for those. We'll go ahead and go to this uh, mushroom house. Try to get some items. <laughs> Uber says he thinks I could do this deathless. He's seen me do Mario 35. <laughs> well, Mario 35 is a different beast, Uber. Hey, Colleen, welcome. I mean, I was good at 35. I mean, dude, I... I put, like, RPG levels of hours into Mario 35. I was addicted to it, man. And then when they announced that they were going to be discontinuing it, I kind of lost interest, and that's when I sort of stopped playing. I was like, why am I going to keep trying to, like, boost my stats and keep playing the game if it's just not going to be here eventually? And now it's gone. <laughs> and funny enough, I actually leave it on my Switch just for, like, the feels. I get super nostalgic about it. I'll fire it up sometimes and, uh... Just listen to that uh, introduction music. You can, I can still view my old stats and everything because it's saved locally. But yeah, that was, like, one of the weirdest things. Nintendo discontinuing Mario 35. Like... And they never brought it back. I was, like... Maybe it'll be like Tetris 99, where uh, they'll release a physical version of it or something, and add more content. Ah, oh, that sucked. But no, they never did. I was—it was kind of gut wrenching, obvious. I, I honestly like Mario 35 is like easily one of my favorite new games of the last 10 to 15 years. It was so good. Um, it was unbelievably fun. Well, the thing is, Scott, I don't think I don't think Nintendo really needs a Switch seller, if you know what I mean. The Switch is already selling. <laughs> you know, it's not really banking on something like Mario 35, but it certainly would not have hurt, you know. I was at Best Buy and uh before Christmas, they had, like, walls of Nintendo Switches. And then I went back last week. All of them are completely gone. <laughs> like, it's... It is doing just fine on the market, I think. I don't think uh, Nintendo's really hurting for Switch sales. <clears throat> also, check this out. This is actually something that is kind of interesting on the Mister. And uh, other platforms support this as, as, as well. Um, but if I go to my video settings here, um, uh, hide uh, mask edges. So some NES games have this area on the side of the screen um, that's usually uh, it's it's usually not seen on a CRT, or maybe you'd see just a tiny bit of it. Um, but when you know you have a direct feed of the image, like you do on an emulator or or an FPGA console, you see that like blue bar in the left, so you can actually, uh, uh, sorry, actually mess, mess this up. You can actually turn it off. And it's actually, it does it on both sides, but in Mario 3, you only see it on the left, so we can actually turn that off. Now you no longer see that blue bar. 
And that's it. Oops, not mean to do that. Aw. That's what I get for trying to be fancy. Mamma mia! Good old Super Mario Brothers games are bringing back the memories of being a wee lass. <laughs> yeah, I do get very nostalgic with these games because they were huge, huge, huge parts of my childhood. I mean, Super Mario Brothers was the first series I fell in love with as a gamer. Then it would be stuff like Zelda, uh, Mega Man. Mega Man was one of the earliest ones, too. Then Castlevania. But Super Mario was, like, the first. The first, like, really big one for me. Hey, Wayne, this was the hottest game for the holidays in 1990. Yes, it was. And honestly, it was probably one of the hottest games for, like, the next two years. <laughs> I am Weasel says, Michigan was another one I really loved. Yeah, me too. Oops. I wanted to actually uh, grab that, but I messed that up. Not a big deal. A little bit trickier with uh, Small Mario. enough for me. Scott says, Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year's. Thanks for the content, man. Always good stuff. No, thank you, Scott. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the kind words. All right, let's see. Nice. Not nice. Mm. Ooh, look at that. Aww. <laughs> Making progress on that, though. We can come back and play this, too, for those of you guys that haven't seen it before. If for some reason you've lived under a rock and you've never played Super Mario 3. Oh, messed it up. Yeah, you match, uh, match one of them, you'll get some extra lives. Let's, it's all about extra lives in this game. Every time you defeat one of these Hammer or Boomerang Brothers or whatever, you'll get a freebie item, which is nice. That Hammer I got actually will cut through, um, like, boulders on the world map. Oh, I didn't jump at the right time. Oh, and I did it again. Ha ha ha. 
Screw you, son. It's nighttime here anyway. It is almost 11 p.m. my time. Stevo asks, would I put Super Mario Bros. 3 in the video game Hall of Fame? Uh, sure? I mean, it's, an, it's definitely an all-time great. It was a seminal title when it came out. It was basically like peak 8-bit gaming. Still is. <clears throat> uh, we'll go ahead and go with number 4, that way we can attack that hammer brother. Now let's see if we can get ourselves a leaf right here. <laughs> Did that wrong. <laughs> oh, that's right, I was tiny Mario. I'm an idiot. Alright, well I guess we're not uh, taking the top route. I wonder if these will respawn. They do. Okay, cool. Use this on the hammer, brother. Actually, I want that leaf. I am using a Mr. FPGA to play this. So not a emulator in the traditional sense. Not a software emulator, at least. You got your cousin into all the classic games, starting with Super Mario Bros. 1. Now he's played all of them. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, these games are kind of timeless. I mean, they, they still play great. Uh, even the first game in the series. I know if I ever have, like, nephews or... Um, or if I have any kids of, of my own, I would definitely be introducing them to these games uh, at a very early age. They're good family-friendly games. Um, they're also good skill builders. You know, Mario games are just, you know, good for that. And they're just fun. Whoops. Let's go, Big Mario.
don't want to fire fire you to death. Stop jumping. <laughs> Guess I had to beat him the traditional way. Nice. World 2 is done. World 3 is where things start to get uh, pretty interesting. <clears throat> also, if I want to, I got the cloud. Ha ha ha. We can actually skip worlds with that, or skip levels with that. Which helps us uh, speed along a little bit. You know, I'm going to stick with the fire flower because it's actually good for these cheap cheeps. Sounds like people are still setting off fireworks. <laughs> Scott says there's a huge number of Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM hacks out there as well. So much love for this game. Yeah, absolutely. I have never messed around with uh, Super Mario ROM hacks. It's really something I need to dive into one day. Hey, we've got a frog suit. Good for underwater levels. You can actually get eaten in one swoop. So ideally, I don't have that happen. You gotta be freaking kidding me. <laughs> oh, that was uh, shameful, but okay. Let's try this again. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna get this level my first try. Nope, got eaten. again. I like how it saves your progress. Nice. Cleared it out. She would have been really fun to just skip the castle, but I don't have another cloud, unfortunately. You can actually put the uh, Hammer Brothers to sleep, though. I'm not going to do that right now, though. Ah, that's right, this is one of those sort of puzzle ones. I always forget where to go. Door number 27. Hmm. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a second. I'm confused. That one throws me straight down. These doors actually don't line up. You just need to find the right door. Oops. So, door number one takes me there. Yeah, not a huge fan of the castles in this game. You kind of test my patience. Rather than my actual gaming skill. Door number three. Door number three is bad. One, two, three. We did the first three. Let's do the fourth one. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's try door number five. That's one. That's two. That's three. Woo! That's four. And that's five. That. Nope. Yeah, I probably should have actually gone back through the door. Should go up here? What's up here? Oh, it's just the pipe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Door number six is the winner! That was way too many doors. said it was wrong. Yeah, it was definitely wrong. We found that out. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, still got it. I wasn't expecting two Hammer Brothers. Start with the star. Just to cut through the enemies a little bit faster. Uh oh. Don't really need a one up, but that's okay. We have 38 lives. Oh, come on, lack of two? Why are you gonna do that to me? I mean, no harm. <clears throat> oh, actually, let's go through here because these aren't always open. Take that. Mm. Yeah, we have to actually go this way. Oh! Hmm. I kind of wanted to bust through that rock, now that I think about it. Oh well. Yeah, this is one thing that Super Mario Bros. 3 incorporated. It's the auto scrollers. Death to auto scrollers. No. <laughs> this was novel for the time. This is one of the first games I could think of that uh, utilized auto scrollers. That wasn't like a scrolling shoot 'em up.
Yeah, Kenny, welcome to the stream. Happy New Year. Sweet, we got it. 2023, here we go. For me, it's like 2023. Hopefully you're a, a lot less crappy than 2022. <laughs> He says, my 2022 was very crabby. Yeah, that's, I understand, man, knowing all the stuff that you had to go through last year. I don't blame you. Sweet, five lives. to try that little bonus game again. Start a new, uh, start a new board. So those white blocks here, you can actually hold down on them and go into the background. It's not really worth doing here, as far as I know. It's something that you want to do in the earlier parts of the game. Hey, Timu. He was just thinking of Mario 3 a few hours ago. Hell yeah. Great minds think alike, right? Or something like that. <laughs> Alright guys, 99 lies by the end of the playthrough. Let's make it happen. Yeah, it is a very well-made game, Timo. Totally agree. Alright. I'm gonna be moving on to World 4 after this. Actually making pretty good progress, but I've also skipped a lot of levels, so... You know, if you want to get through Mario 3 in one sitting and not have it take four, four hours, uh... <laughs> you need to skip some of the world or skip some of the levels. It keeps saying worlds, but... Skip some of the levels. Blocks. 
Windy. Alright, sweet. First try. Pure says, uh, I was gonna watch a different Let's Play, but I saw Austin was live and jumped in. Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Tima says, the speedrun in Mario 3 where you do all the stages doesn't have a lot of glitches, honestly. He's no expert on Mario 3, but some friends run it. There's some clipping and some other stuff, but still, not that much. That's interesting to know, Timo, because, yeah, a lot of speedruns are based around uh, exploiting glitches and stuff like that. Like in an any percent run or something like that. Um... But it's interesting when you find those games that don't really have a lot of glitches, and you kind of have to play them normally. Obviously as fast as possible, but... Yeah. Big World is so much fun. I think this is one of the most memorable worlds for a lot of people. There wasn't much like this visually on the NES. Steve says, I actually bought Super Mario Bros. 3 for $2 at a flea market. Hell yeah. It's a good deal. Nice. And again. Flip, Mario, flip! These items are just kind of along the way. I am going to grab them because they do help. Like if I die and I turn back into small Mario, it's, it's helpful. Helps me get back on my feet faster. Whoa, that was close. I thought maybe I could just like fly up, but apparently not. <laughs> I thought I could actually land on them. Apparently not. Wow, I mistimed that big time. Oh, watch out. Uh, yeah, no, Steve was actually right, uh, Timu. So in the Japanese version of this, if you're like uh, Raccoon Suit Mario, if you take a hit, you go straight to Small Mario. There's no in between. The Japanese version is uh, tougher in that regard. I think there are some other differences too, but that's that's like the that's the big one. Yep, yep, really, Timu. <laughs> Yeah, I actually did a uh, a full playthrough of the Japanese version probably like four or five years ago now. And I wasn't expecting that change to be there. And I was using my real Famicom cartridge at the time too. And so I actually kind of struggled with the game a little bit because I hadn't played it in a while. And uh, I was turning the small Mario way faster, <laughs> way easier.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Man, these thwomps do not play nice in this game, that is for sure. Another one. Ah, crap. I've already forgotten where this is. Oh, nice. Uh, was that the 10? No, that's the one up. Uh, ooh, we got a cloud. Skip that level. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and do the hammer, brother. <laughs> Stars. Oh, nice. P-Wing. That is a really good reward. That was worth it. And another one. <laughs> oh, star first star. That's not so good, but at least we ripped through it pretty quickly. There's actually a red mushroom house. Oh yeah, this one, if you go through that door, I think it actually makes everything small again. That's kind of a fun mechanic. <clears throat> we can't be in big world though and not have everything be big. It's just it's just it's just not right, you know? Oops. Oh yeah, Steve, I remember those uh, Happy Meal toys for Super Mario 3. Yep. I wish I held on to those. Nice Tanuki suit. We're going into this with small Mario is probably not the wisest idea. Oh, never mind. a little bit of a taste of World 7. Raccoon suit, we go up to that top left part. This could be a little tricky. Oh, sweet. Samantha says Super Mario movie toys are out. Let's go ahead and <laughs> do the frog suit. <laughs> this will be interesting. It's actually kind of funny. We skipped 
some of the underwater levels where you actually have to swim. Frog suit all the way. frog suit is you do jump higher it seems like so that's kind of cool yeah it's a lot of flames oh that's a bummer too garbage. No! Oh, okay. Damn, I don't have any other frog suits. That sucks. Oh well, not a big deal. Yeah, Timu, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's like an outline of the suit. It flies off of you when you take a hit in the Japanese one. Yeah, I forgot about that difference. If I screw this up again, uh, we might end up having to play some of the other levels I missed. Just because the, the airship flies around. I was stuck off screen. Alright, got it.
Nice, got a P-Wing, hell yeah. All right, um... No clouds or anything. Oh, no five, five lives. I'm disappointed. How are we going to have 99 lives by the end if I keep messing up? Hey, Society, and John Evan, and Ryan. Welcome, people. Mm. I keep forgetting where these are. Tanuki suit, I will take that. Basically a raccoon suit, except you can also turn it into a statue. Alright, um... Well, I do need to get to that tower. Let's go for level 3. B-Wing! Man, I'm getting a lot of those. I think I can only have three pages worth of items. So that's one, that's two. Okay. Filling them up slowly. Levels where you have to, uh, scroll to the left reminds me of my own Mario Maker levels. I need to fire up Mario Maker 2 on Switch, like, get used to it again, and then do a stream of that here. Oops. John Evans says he was trying to get all the items on Metroid Zero Mission. You might abandon that goal because it's getting too frustrating. <laughs> Why is it frustrating? I mean, it's the sort of thing where you can just use a walkthrough, right? Or are you just trying to find them all on your own? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. For some reason, I thought I had to go that way. <laughs> Oops. Ah, star for a star. 
John Evans says he's having trouble with the speed boosting trick on a lot of them. Okay. I actually shouldn't have used the raccoon suit because I could have gotten it right here. <laughs> Planet X says, I request for you to play Faxanadu tonight. Definitely not happening. But I will consider trying to relearn it again and do it in the near future, because Aberdeen has been hounding me about it for a long time. He hasn't done it in a while, thankfully. But now that I know there's there's multiple Faxanadu fans out there, maybe we'll make it happen sometime soon. Also, if Aberdeen is still out there, you just made his night. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Planet X. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, not much I can do here. We have to actually play through these levels. In the sky. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, Planet X Aberdeen is one of my viewers. He was here earlier in the stream. Big Fax Anadu fan. Whoops! I got killed by a baby Goomba. Hey, 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 Timu! Timu says, "Merry Christmas and happy 2022." <laughs> Thanks, Timu. Much appreciated, sir. I don't like that that left pipe did me no good. Oh, that's fair. Oh, come on. I got trolled. Super trolled. Funny if I got a cloud. I could just skip through one of these levels. Another Tanuki suit. Hey, Office with Splatoon 3 multiplayer streams. Probably never, because I don't own Splatoon 3. Hell, I don't even have Splatoon 2 anymore. Get back here. A welcome, office. Don't give me that frowny phrase face BS office. <laughs> Too many games, too little time. Oh, you say you actually don't like Splatoon 3 to you. It feels weird. Can't have fun in it for some reason. That is interesting. I remember you were super hyped up for it, and now that I think about it, you haven't really ever talked about it much, so that explains things. <clears throat> Give me a cloud. Give me a cloud. Cloud, 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 that is not a cloud. Oh, 
fire in the sky. All right. Oh! We've got, uh... <laughs> fire coming... from the actual ceiling. It's not something you see very often in this game. Least favorite level in the game? Um, I, don't know, I can't really. I, I, you know, my least favorite level is probably one of the um, auto scroller um, airship levels. They, they're just kind of boring to me. Pick any of them; doesn't really matter which one. Those would be my least favorites if I had to pick one. Uh, how do I want to do this? I am intentionally using my items because I don't want to fill up three pages worth. Then it'll start kicking items out of my inventory, I think. Thank you very much for that. 100! Hope you're doing well tonight, sir. I actually should have bought the Hammer Brother just to get an item. Just ride the king up to the airship. Like in Super Mario Brothers 2. John Evans playing Kirby's Pinball Land. Nice. That's a fun game. Are you still playing pinball locally? That's fine. John says, uh, yes I am. I just participated in a tournament on Thursday night. Cool. Office is trying to do uh, Super Mario Advance Yoshi's Island 100% on GBA. Society was playing Kirby's Dream Course. Nice. Yeah, that's a that's an interesting one. I skipped out on it back in the day, but I played it more recently, and it's pretty fun.
Timu says, I've been meaning to casually revisit Super Mario Brothers 2 Japan. Maybe on stream, that could make for a fun casual for laughs stream. Yeah, it's, it's a tough game. You will make many mistakes in it. <clears throat> Auto scroller! With ice physics. I'm not going back to that end. Uh, let's go to this. Mushroom. I was gonna ask, I was like, how long does the, uh, the music box last? Must be like several turns or something like that. Oh, that was close. Hammer. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to take me back. says he missed the last two games. You should have popped on earlier. Yeah, we played Super Mario Brothers 1, then 2, and now we're on part 3. Adam says he missed all of Mario 2. time already. Yeah, Timo, this is a nice, um, nice bit of attention to detail. lives. We're going to be at 61 lives, guys. 99 by the end of the game? Mm -hmm. Actually, with me skipping all these levels, I don't think we're, we can even make 99. Let me come here and see where this takes me. I'm just 
curious. Oh. So I'm guessing there's a bridge that appears or something like that. It's like a, it's like a shmup, but with water physics. Oops. That's my fault for not being patient. Oh, I hate these guys. <laughs> Especially a small Mario in a tight little corridor. Yeah, Leo, you might be right regarding that bridge idea. <laughs> I was gonna skip that hammer, brother. Didn't give me a choice. Hey, Cloud! You're right, Adam. This game is so good. I agree. JD, how's it going? Happy New Year, sir. Hope you're doing well. I will actually take the Fire Flower.
Oh, are you serious? I clipped the edge of the platform. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm down to uh, two pages of items. I don't have to worry about item usage. usage. Or, I mean, maximizing my items. Which that, was, that was my worry. I thought I had too many items. Now I'm actually uh, losing them pretty quickly. Four lives. I mean, comparing the games, uh, Timu, it's, I mean, it's oftentimes just like a personal preference thing. For me, Super Mario World definitely has the edge in just about every regard. Uh, it's, it's the one I go back to way, way, way more often. But, I mean, they're both phenomenal games. I didn't even see what that top card was. I was looking at chat. Oh, well. I knew that was going to happen. I do like it when the castles are a little more straightforward. That's not good. <laughs> Ryan says, I picked up Mario All-Stars plus World a little while back. The single cartridge bundle. Nice. JD says, uh, it's going good. Last night, I played music until my fingertips fell. <laughs> Felt like they would fall off. It's a great time. Yeah, thanks, man. Hope you're having a good 2023 so far, too. Uh, all one day of it. Hmm. Go ahead and just start a small Mario and see what happens. <laughs> Mega Man 3 DOS is... <laughs> Mega Man 3 NES B. Yeah, man, Mega Man 3 NES. What a terrible game. It's so bad. Thinking about that game alone makes me regret doing Mega Man Month in November. What a waste of time. And psh, Mega Man 3, you don't even start on Mega Man 2, Timu. I mean... You can defeat Metal Man with his own weapon. Psh. What what respectable game would allow you to ever do something like that? Dr. Chaos doesn't let you pull that crap. Such a superior game. <laughs> Samantha says the Game Boy version almost killed my dog, and I've hated Mega Man ever since. <laughs> uh, bouncy balls! You can hop on. Oh, your dog actually ate the cartridge? <laughs> Okay, so that's kind of like I sh a one of those I should not be laughing stories because it, it was real, I guess. <laughs> oh, sorry to hear that. I'm glad it didn't kill your dog. 
Note to self, if I ever get a dog, make sure I leave all the small objects in hard to reach places. Another P Wing. Hey, it's World 7, everybody's favorite! I like World 7. Society says, I had a Doberman that liked to eat cash. He ate $200 once. That was in your money clip. Oof. Did he craft it back out all in one piece? I know dogs sometimes do that. Actually, I don't think I have to go that way. I think I have to go this way. Covered 150 of it. <laughs> oh man, you guys have some interesting stories. I don't think I have anything that interesting with my cats. Well, that story was certainly worth $50, though, I'd say. It's the price of doing business when you want good stories. Whoop! I got a little too cocky there. Adam says, uh, cats have severed his headphone cores. That's about it. Thanks for the GG, JD. 
And Adam. I guess I have to have this. That's a bummer. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> I've never actually done that before. My power bar uh, stayed maxed out for longer than I expected. I was able to take advantage of that. Tanuki suit! Oh, actually, I meant to get on this pipe, see if it'll take me further along. I'm not trying to play every level. Yeah, can't do that. Actually... No, okay. Ego? This is some creepy looking cheap cheeps. in preparation for the movie? It is not. I completely forgot about the movie, actually. No, this was... I was too lazy to have anything planned for stream, but I still wanted to stream, because I haven't been streaming as much lately. Let's do this.
<laughs> I love how the solution is so simple. Ah, okay. Yeah, Leo, it's kind of a weird one. Like, um, in Mario World, there's definitely a couple of things that I have to memorize, but... I find that a lot of the stuff in Mario World actually comes a little bit easier than this. In terms of, like, it's ghost houses versus this game's castles. Some of the puzzle castles in this, um... Like, I never have them memorized. I always have to, like, refigure them out. 68 lines. Hey, Wonka. He's going Wonka on all platforms. I was expecting more iframes. the same as like again. I have so many P wings, it's like, why not use some of them? Whoa there.
Pick a box, any box. Ooh, Hammer Brother suit. That didn't work. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh yeah, yeah, stars kill almost everything, I think, Adam. But one of the problems with stars is they don't last very long in this game. Oh! I keep expecting the iframes to last as long as they do in the first Super Mario Brothers, and they don't. Ugh. Making simple mistakes now. Well, that backfired. Yeah, not enough iframes there either. for rushing through.
Tell me some tricky stuff in this game. Revenge. Tastes so sweet. Sanctum? <laughs> Revenge is a dish that is best served cold. That's not good. All right, guys, on to the final level. One? Yes, good old vintage gaming. Hell yeah. Well, we're definitely not going to have 99 lives by the end. I'm a little sad. Yeah, Attack of the Auto-Scrollers. That's exactly what this is. Oh, 
<laughs> it right it raises me up. That's funny. Nice little touch. <laughs> That's all you get for screwing around. It's okay. All right, round two. Oh yeah, it's this one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was gonna say, we'll see if we can get the trick, but now I don't even know if I can do it. Uh... Try. Yeah, a lot of times I take the the bottom route for both of the ships, but sometimes I I struggle to get back up to where the that last pipe is. So I wasn't sure if the music box would actually do anything here, but I had to try. Oh. Oh, nice. Just enough star. You know, I should have used my P wing here. Definitely makes life a lot easier.
<laughs> yeah, you'd think Cheep Cheeps would die in lava, right? <laughs> Probably one of the tougher levels in the game. And actually, this is a good reason to upgrade. Must collect them all. No, I'm just kidding. Master Cheese, welcome back. to the end, guys. Just a few more levels. A couple more auto-scrollers. I just forget which way to go. I think that it might be the wrong way. Yep. One more auto-scroller. Okay. Hmm. Mario, guys! Gotta love the cheap strats. Oh, 
this will be about a two hour long playthrough of Mario 3, which isn't too bad. But we also skipped a lot. We, we probably skipped at least 40% of the levels in the game. Like, there's a bunch we skipped. <laughs> Mario is missing! Hey, Vince, and hi, Shane. Welcome to the stream, guys. This is gonna work. Right, we'll try it. So close. You can kill Bowser like instantly with the Hammer Brothers suits <laughs> or something like that. I've only done it, I think, once. Oh, that would have been awesome. Super Mario 3, guys. NES game with an actual ending. We're two for two in that regard. Oh, 
Okay, so serious question guys. I don't know if I have it in me But I could try to go through it somewhat quickly like Mario 3 uh, Do you want to see Super Mario World? The only uh, caveat is I need to take a food break first. It's been about five a little over five hours since I last ate. I'm pretty hungry. But we have a really good turnout right now. I don't normally get this many people watching a stream, especially this late at night, so... Of course, you would love to see it, Leo. <laughs> Everyone's like, do it! <laughs> okay. Uh, no, Wayne, I, I probably wouldn't get through Lost Levels unless we're doing the Super Nintendo version. But even then, I, I think I'd rather play Super Mario World. It's just uh, more up my alley right now. So let me get that loaded. I'll get the title screen going with some music. And we're going to sit here on the cat screen for a little bit. So we can... Uh, well, you guys can just, you know, watch the cats. Pretend you can reach through the screen and pet them. And uh, I will eat some food. And then hopefully come back a little more refreshed. But that was uh, that was pretty crazy going through uh, all those games back to back. Didn't expect Mario three to uh, go that fast. I mean, not that it was really that fast. It was still, even though we skipped a lot of levels, it was still two hours long. Uh, I was definitely getting a little tired there by World Seven. But, all right. Uh, don't go anywhere, or go somewhere and come back. It'll probably be about ten minutes. And uh, yeah, I will. Uh, I'll pull up my phone actually and pull up the stream so I can still chat with you guys while I'm eating. But yeah. Hey, Patchouli. Hey, little girl. Patchouli girl. They got some new blankets for Christmas. They like them. All right, I'll be back.
Uh, pure asked what was on the menu. I, uh... Bought a footlong sub at Subway earlier, so I just ate half of it. Should've ate the whole thing, but... Um, I don't know. I'll just do that first half and see if it tides me over. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny is I actually haven't done the, the kitty bed so close to the camera in a long time, and they're they're enjoying this. They're, they're sitting here with me. Um, normally only Milo would be in here. The cat beds would usually be against the, uh, you know, the bookshelf over there. That way they're not in my way. And Milo would usually sleep on that, but Patchouli will, will be in the other room if they're on the other side. But since they're both here next to me, uh, they're both with me tonight, so... Yeah, yeah, Tony, we do need some Milo emotes. He's feeling a little left out over there. Milo! Hey, Milo! He's really grown into, uh, this home. He's just like a... He's just one of us now. He's a crazy little boy, but uh, he's, a, he's a good kitty. You want to see some uh, crazy Milo in action, just check out my Instagram. Which I think is, uh... Actually, you know what I can do is actually I can, um... Just post a link to it. For anybody curious, uh... Anyone that has Instagram. I post videos of Milo all, all the time. You can see, like, how goofy he can be. He's pretty chill right now, though. But, uh, alright, let's, uh... Let's get started. I kind of like Mario 3, I'm gonna try to just skip a lot of the worlds and stuff like that, and then, as I get closer to the end of the game, I'll sort of feel it out, see if I, I want to go back and take care of some of the other worlds I missed, or all the levels, I, or some of the levels I missed. I'll probably skip Star Road completely, uh, at least until I gauge, like, how much longer I'm going to keep streaming. I mean, we've got a great turnout, but uh, we've also been going for almost four and a half hours already, and uh, I'm starting to get a little tired, but we'll see. <laughs> 90s Gaming Guy says, Coolest cats on YouTube! Well, thank you. Alright. I love Mario World. This is, uh... Well, this is my favorite post-Mario 1 game <laughs> in the series. <clears throat> yeah, sleep is for the weak. Yeah, maybe if you're young. But, uh, I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if I actually need uh, the Block Palace. We're gonna skip it for now and just kind of see what happens. Yeah, Yoshi! Having mid-level checkpoints is uh, very different. One level down. Ninety-five more to go. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, Yoshi, I thought we were both going to die, so I had to sacrifice you. <laughs> oh, man.
Out of all the Super Mario Brothers games, what is the most challenging? Um, it would either be uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 Japan or uh, versus Super Mario Brothers Arcade. That would be my guess. Ben says, uh, this game blew my mind the first time I saw it. Yeah, me too. I mean, this game was just, hmm. Absolutely, like, just phenomenal when it first came out. I mean, it still is, but... When it was brand new, and you'd never seen anything like it before, it was, it was special. It was very special. I was too young to have a job at that point. This, this came out uh, when I was, I think, nine years old? So I was still just a, a kid. I do miss the earlier days of the industry when new console generations meant a significant improvement in uh, technology. <clears throat> and thus, uh, generally an improvement in a lot of the games. Like a new console would come out, you'd see the games on it, and you would just, like, you'd be floored. That's an awesome feeling. Oh, that was close. <laughs> have I ever played Wario Land 3? I have not, no. I mean, I would definitely consider a stream of any of the Wario Land games if I got more familiar with them, but... Wario Land on Virtual Boy is the only one that I ever played to completion, and played a lot of. Whenever I finally get around to getting my Virtual Boy modded and I get a flashcard, I'd, I'd like to go through that game on stream, that'd be fun. Oh, so much for the cape. <laughs> Oops. There it is. Double oops. <laughs> Oh, sounds like the cats are playing. I'm hearing all sorts of noises now. Oh, 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 oh. You still there, Yoshi? Okay. Fly over that. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, we're actually not gonna go that way. We're gonna go back, complete this level normally. 
Oh, come on, Yoshi. Why are you gonna be like that? Dough. Let's try that again. This time, oh, I got the checkpoint. I didn't realize that. Just fly. It's not how I expected that to go. Hey, Mernin, welcome back. It's actually kind of weird uh, seeing these levels without having the yellow switch blocks, or without having gone to the the yellow switch palace, because I always go for the switch palaces. But it's kind of fun not going for them. Some parts of the game become a lot more challenging. This was indeed the first pack in for Super Nintendo. You are not mistaken. And it was a pack in for a very long time. Later, Pure. Have a good night. Going that top right, I think, is actually what I wanted to do if I wanted to find the special item room. And we're going to skip that for now. 
Justin says this game was basically my childhood in the early 90s. Yes, yeah, so the All-Stars and World Combo Kart actually was a bundle for the Model 1 Super Nintendo. Uh, I'd be curious to know if there was a Model 2 with a pack-in of it, but the Model 2, from what I remember, didn't usually have pack-in games. But I'd be, I'd be curious to know if there is a bundle out there that does have pack-ins of some kind for the Model 2. Nice. Yeah, I don't recall any packings with it either, Leo. Yeah. Actually, I was talking to someone uh, a couple weeks ago on Twitch where they actually got uh, a Model 1 console that has the Mario World and All-Stars bundle. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, I messed that up. Dope. Hey, a moon. That's a bunch of extra lives. John Evans says, I believe there's a Model 2 pack in of Yoshi's Island or Kirby's Dreamland 3. You might be wrong, though. Yeah, there there might be some kind of Model 2 bundles, but they're not... If they if they exist... If they exist, sorry, they're not that common. Like Leo said, that console was a uh, fairly late release. Vernon says this game is probably the most nostalgic for him. Yeah, it's pretty nostalgic for me, too. I mean, all these early Mario games are. Because these all comprised my childhood. Yes, there was 90s Gaming Guy. There were a lot of bundles for the Model 1 Super Nintendo. There's Donkey Kong Country bundle, there's, you know, multiple Mario World bundles, there was uh, Killer Instinct. And I'm pretty sure there were several more. It's a lot of, a lot of variations. Well, we're making progress. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're just gonna go through this level normally. Like I said, kind of like with Mario 3, we're not aiming to go through all the stages. 
I don't have three and a half hours. <laughs> or if I do, I want to be playing other games, not 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 stuck on the same one forever. I do love the alternate routes in this game. Oh, I actually want that. Oh, um... I triggered that, and it started going down, I didn't even realize it. Running through this with a cape is a really bad idea. Try this again. Bundle still exists, guys. <laughs> Nintendo's been a little more stingy about them in recent times, but uh, Microsoft and Sony oftentimes do them. Microsoft in particular, they, they do a lot of bundles. Now Sony's even doing it already with PS5s. I think they've had multiple bundles now. I got Horizon Forbidden West with mine. Granted, it's digital only, but still. It was like a $70 game when I bought my console, so... Not a bad trade-off. Or not a bad inclusion, I should say. Yeah, so the, uh, the levels you play with the red dots, they, uh, it means they have alternate routes in them. Alternate exits. You got Sackway with your PS5, Wayne? Nice. I'd like to actually pick up that game. It looks like it's basically like Super Mario 3D World. <laughs> it looks it looks really good.
It is nice that the star lasts a lot longer in this game compared to uh, Mario World. Oh, sorry, Mario 3. Alright, see you, John Evan. Have a good night. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers only one life clear win. Never. We actually talked about that earlier tonight. It's funny you bring that up again. I mean, I could most certainly one life clear Super Mario 3 Timu if I'm warping through it, and I'm pretty sure I've done that plenty of times, but um, doing the entire game, I mean, that's, if you're doing like every single level, that's, that's a lot of work. I mean, it took us two hours to go through the game without going through all the levels. It's very, very long. What you doing, Milo? Milo! Hey! Hey, come on. Come on. Get out from back there. Come on. I don't need you pulling any cables, buddy. All right, good boy. Thanks for coming back out. There you go. <sighs> I'm at the point I might have to shut my game room door. Milo's got his energy back and he's exploring all over the place and he just got behind like all my cables for my uh, stream and recording setup. It's like, that's not good. It's like, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Milo is one of my cats. Should probably hit that checkpoint. Hey, we got a Yoshi. Oh, sorry, Yoshi! Derpy fire dinos. You need to teach yourself how to one life clear Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> See, Timo, here's how you one life clear Ninja Gaiden. First, you take the cartridge, you put it inside your Nintendo Entertainment System, 
Uh, close the flap so dust doesn't get inside it. Uh, they're gonna want to push the power button. Make sure it's plugged in to the wall outlet. Otherwise, you know, you might not get power and you might not even be able to play Ninja Gaiden. And, um... Once it's powered on, make sure your TV's on. You know, that's- some people forget about that. And then, you know, you just hit the start button a bunch of times. You get into the game, and then you play it. And then before you know it, you will one life clear that game. But no, seriously though, I mean, you, you've probably seen speedruns of the game, right? There are legitimate non-speed strats that are just like normal parts of the game. Like you get the, the weapon called the Spin Slash, you can kill bosses in one hit. Um, so that's a huge key, obviously. You don't have that weapon on every level, but it's in a lot of the stages in the game. You always die a bunch on Armored Armadillo stage. When that's, uh, is that just casual, or is that when you're speedrunning? I'd imagine for you, it'd be very difficult to play a game like Mega Man X casually ever again. Uh, this could end poorly. Castles in this game are only at the end of each world. You don't have to go through multiples. You've just got ghost houses instead. missed it. <laughs> I like that he busts out a mallet. It's like a throwback to the classic Donkey Kong. I wonder if that design choice was just coincidental or if it was intentional. Let's see if we can get Milo back in here. went behind the big CRT. <laughs> yeah, Patchy's chilling by herself.
Hey John, welcome back. You have to go under that bridge there if uh, you want one of the alternate exits. Oh man, all right, good game, guys. <laughs> Hey, when you're just trying to get through the game as quickly as possible, who cares? <laughs> this is not normally how I play this game, but it is kind of funny just trying to go through it as quickly as possible. Ludwig, Ludwig von Cooper. I'll 
on the World 5. Oh. Now I can't just fly through the level. I have to actually play it? What is this? <laughs> hey, Will, I am still crushing it. I don't know about crushing it, but I am still here. <laughs> we finished Mario's 1, 2, and 3. I always thought you could use your cape on these guys, but apparently not. I forgot there was a ghost house there. Double crap. Oh, sweet. Nice, dead end. That's always great. All right, later, Adam. Thanks for hanging out. Alternate exit was just right over there. You can go through that one wall. I 
don't know. Uh, Yoshi's Island was a pretty damn good game. I know I was disappointed with it back in the day because it was so different from Mario World, but it's a, it's a really good game. That's also something that's been on my to-do list for a long time, is to try to finally uh, beat that game again. That way I can do a stream of it here. one with an alternate path, too. I think all these do. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you should probably revisit it, Will. Trust me, man. Like, I felt the exact same way about Yoshi's Island for the longest time. And then I went back to it in more recent times, and, like, it's definitely one of the best-looking Super Nintendo games. It's got really creative level design. Uh, just all that good stuff. And like Tony said, great soundtrack. And hey, Raymond, thank you so much. Thanks for the awesome content, Austin. Here is to 2023. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Raymond. Much appreciated. One of the other cool things about Yoshi's Island that some people, I think, have probably forgotten about is it uses the Super FX2. There's some really cool visual effects in it. I think it's Super FX2. You're like, wow, this is a Super Nintendo game? It looks like it could be on, like, the PlayStation or Saturn in some respects. Thank you. 
I had to rank the Mario games. I mean, we've gone over this a thousand times on my channel. I mean, it's it's a toss up between Mario One and Mario World. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll pick one or the other depending on the mood I'm in. But I mean, they both uh, are fast and responsive and. Um, Super Mario One is my first. Is, is like my go-to though. That's that's the one I go back to the most because it's just it's it's super fast. It's easy to get a, get into. I can go through the whole game in like forty minutes. Um, the uh, Mario World is basically like Mario Three except better in pretty much every way, <laughs> in my opinion. Anyway, I I love this game so much. Um, I'm going to have to shoot myself off. Whoa there, sorry Yoshi. Yeah, no Yoshi's Island right now, John. Well, I don't know. We're, we are getting closer to the end of the game already, so... Uh, no, I don't want to make any promises. <laughs> Would I consider a Donkey Kong variety stream? Um, yeah, when I actually learn more than one of the games in the series. <laughs> the problem is, I don't really... Uh, I, I'm not particularly good at Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3. I mean, with the Mister, I could technically do like a Donkey Kong in general variety stream. But prob I mean, probably not. I, there's too many games in the series. I don't really know all that well. Ah, that was my fault. Let's try this again. But, hey, you know, I, I will eventually learn most of those Donkey Kong games and eventually cover them here, but it's, uh... Haven't gotten to it yet. Too many games, too little time. Probably need to get up to that door. What are my thoughts on the Resident Evil 4 remake? I don't have any. I don't really care that much. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the the camp that I don't think we need a Resident Evil 4 remake. I'm sure it'll be good, but uh, yeah, I just don't really care that much. Although I am also finding it very hard to actually give two craps about things these days. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Capcom's done a bang-up job with their remakes, though, so I'm sure it'll be great. I just, I don't really care that much. 
Um, as you guys know, I don't even really play survival horror games much. Now, my brother will most likely buy the game day one. So I'm sure I'll hear all about it from him. Uh, he's doing well, Tony. I've done many gaming streams with my brother, and I'm pretty sure you've been on at least three of them. <laughs> hmm. Same route again. That's not good. Donkey Kong stream. Uh, I don't think he streamed Donkey Kong with me, uh, Tony. I think it was, uh, he did a Let's Play of it with me. <laughs> to my recollection, I have seen one, maybe two. Well, why did you ask me if I've ever done a gaming stream with my brother? Oh my god, it's so late in the night right now. <laughs> you guys are making my brain melt. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. All right, where's Leo? Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. There's like a gimmick to this level, right? In terms of uh, what sections appear. Teach me the gimmicks, Leo. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do this level. Why not? You gotta either do it fast or with a bunch of coins. Yeah, that's what I thought cool videos, which is why I was trying to just go through it really fast. And maybe I successfully did the really fast route, but failed at the slower route? I don't know. Cool if he went down fast enough, like, he would catch on fire. He's on fire! That is not Leo's cool videos, no. <laughs> says Donkey Kong Country Returns, DS Best Donkey Kong g Game. Go ahead and try to change my mind. I'm not going to bother trying to change your mind, but, uh... 
Yeah, I don't know. That game is pretty damn good. Oh, that actually led me to where I want to go. I forgot that would shortcut me there. All right, sweet. Sorry, Leo, we don't need you anymore. Leo's probably back outside fiddling with his lights. Hmm, gotta love that tricky platforming. Yeah, this is uh, much trickier without the uh, the switch palaces. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Cutting it a little close. Ooh, I'm surprised that actually worked. Final Fight Trilogy stream? No. I don't like the Final Fight games after the first one. <laughs> I mean, they're- they're okay. They're just okay. I don't really ever feel like playing them. I did one Let's Play of Final Fight 2. That'll probably be the first and last Let's Play I ever do. I did, Tony. I, I, I didn't like Final Fight 2 very much, and I played Part 3 a bunch, but even that still just feels kind of uh, lukewarm to me compared to the first game. So I've never had a desire to really go back and learn that for a YouTube video, so sorry to disappoint. And Final Fight wasn't just a trilogy, I'd also have to play Mighty Final Fight. And then I'd also have to play Final Fight Revenge. Whoa there. And then, oh, Final Fight Streetwise. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. yeah. Cool videos mentioned Final Fight Streetwise at the same time. <laughs> man, you want to talk about a series that went downhill fast? Oof. Final Fight, man. That's so sad. The arcade game is... It's an iconic release to me. Crap. 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 Now, Final Fight would be my favorite beat-em-up of all time. Oh, there. Streets of Rage 2, a close second. Nice. Mark, you're barred from talking. <laughs> Will asks, has anyone played Streets of Rage 4? How was it? It was great. I highly recommend it. Uh, gaming guy, Final Fight 2 Arcade does not exist. Is, 
Final Fight 2 is not an arcade game. It was exclusive to Super Nintendo. Same with Final Fight 3. Um, so, Will, I actually have a blind stream of Streets of Rage 4. If you ever get bored one day. And at the end of the stream, I basically was like, Alright, I love this game. It's great. I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, I was not... I was not impressed with what I saw before it came out, but then I actually played it, and I was like, okay, this is pretty awesome. I mean, Super Nintendo Final Fight's not, like, the garbage some people will have you believe, but it is still really far off from the arcade game. And there are other improved versions, like the Sega CD one. Well, I guess it's fine if it's your favorite, but, like, eh. It is definitely one of those games that, uh... I don't know. One of those examples of games where I'm like, oh, if someone says, oh, this is the best version, I'm like, uh, you even played the arcade game? I mean, you, I don't know. It's kind of hard for an inferior version to be the best. Words are fun. Okay, Will, you gotta cut it out, man, with the suggestion. Seriously, dude. <laughs> Though I will say a Street Fighter variety stream would get boring pretty fast. You'd be watching me play uh, variations of Ken and Guile for like seven different games. I actually, one thing I would like to do eventually, I don't know if... I'll be able to talk my friends into it, is to do, like, a stream where I bring them over and we just play competitive fighting games. <laughs> oh my god, Tony. Uh... I know you're joking, but no, no Suikoden variety streams. No Suikoden streams, period. I have yet to complete any of those games. I, I would like to do some kind of RPG stream eventually, like a Final Fantasy 2 or 3 on Super Nintendo or something like that, but that is... I don't know, I hear Square Enix is really fickle about streams of their RPGs. Oh, that was close. I'm getting there with Mario 64 now. I mean, it's been slowly. I haven't played it in like a week and a half or two weeks. I guess it's been about two weeks. And Leo, I was going to hit you up next time I plan on streaming it on Twitch, because I know you'd probably want to be there. My thing right now, Leo, is like I, I do want to keep pursuing Mario 64, but I need to get some more playthroughs knocked out. Some quick plays. I recorded two. Um, oh, I messed up there. Recorded two yesterday. They're both rendered and uploaded. I have to make the thumbnails now and get the description going. 
And then I need to record two more. And then after that, I need to start learning Mega Man 11 because I kind of promised that. And uh, so Mario 64 might, you know, take a back seat for a little while. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I was having a good time with Mario 64. You know, I'm kind of just kind of forcing myself to play it since I whoa, whoa, that is really different without that Switch Palace. Uh, it's a game I uh, never put a lot of time into back in the day. I always played maybe the first couple stages, and that was it. If I really wanted to, I could try to shortcut. Uh, we'll just go through from here. Uh, Will, I... Lately, I haven't been planning out my live streams at all, really. Had a lot of shit going on the last. Oops, sorry, pardon my French. Had a lot of crap going on the last several months, and um, my motivation motivation to plan anything out has kind of dwindled. Now I did plan out New Year's Eve, but I had other stuff happen that got in the way, and uh, so that ended up not happening last night. I was going to do a Super Nintendo stream, and I'm going to... Okay. I had to get all the way to the end. Tonight was kind of like, uh, well, I didn't do New Year's Eve. Let me do something on New Year's Day. I had no idea what I was going to stream on New Year's Day, though. I decided I didn't want to do the same thing I would have done last night, which was just Super Nintendo stuff. And I just randomly, I was out and about today, and I thought, you know what, I can... Let's do some Super Mario. I haven't done Super Mario in a while. And here we are. I used to plan out just about all my live streams, though. And I would try to practice for all the games I cover, but, uh... That doesn't happen as much anymore. Okay. Why is that not working? Behind door number two. <laughs> yeah, I'm not necessarily like that, Will. It's just some of the stuff that's happened in my life last year has not been, uh, has not been great. This is fantastic.
All right, Leo, what's the gimmick here? I don't feel like figuring it out right now. That's weird. Yeah, what was weird, Leo, is like, in some instances, the coins weren't even appearing, so I was getting a little confused there. Whoops. Cool video says the regular exit is the second to last door. Okay, I'll tr I'll try that. Oops. With these staircases, you can go so fast where you actually get airborne without even really realizing it, and then you can't jump, and that's exactly what happened. Boom. I was making it way harder myself. No, I'm not talking about the coins that are moving up the screen, Leo. I'm talking about that initial coin wall. You have to use the P block after you've cleared away. But, like, those coins were not appearing when I was going back to that room. It was just weird. Finally back to a more normal level. Oops. Isn't this fun not, like, abusing the cape anymore? So I wish I still had a cape, though. He's gaming guy. Yeah, sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, that's not easy to deal with. Knock on wood, I personally haven't had to deal with it yet with immediate family, but we're all going to get there one day. But yeah, sorry to hear that. That's rough. Yeah, I've known several people some good friends that lost family members recently. It's not fun to, uh, to hear about. Whoa. Hey, Mike, yeah, I'm still at it with the Mario games. How many could there possibly be? It's just a popular video game series or something. No. No, I just, uh, Mike, I just, you know, I even said at the beginning of the stream, uh, depending on how I feel after Mario 3, we might continue with Mario World. 
and uh, the only stipulation was like I just needed to get some food in my stomach before I started this. And we're also kind of we're just kind of skipping a lot of the levels as well, just like with Mario Three. Can't see where I'm going. Okay. A ROM hack that replaces the cape with the rabbit ears in Mario Land 2. That way you can't skip all the levels. Yeah, that could be interesting. Or just uh, replace it with the raccoon tail, or the raccoon suit. Since you can't fly infinitely with that, at least. No, no, no. Try this again. Pay attention, Austin. Yeah, I probably should be using this.
All right, sweet. Sweeter if I had a checkpoint. Yeah, not having the yellow blocks anymore <laughs> makes it hard to get some health back here. That's kind of funny. Oh, there. <laughs> this has me on edge. Oh, come on! Ugh. I'm tempted to go all the way back to the beginning, get the secret exit so I can get infinite power-ups. I might actually do that. I basically have to do this with just small Mario now. Since I did not get the Switch Palaces, not a single one. It says, I was puzzled by the ghost house and why the coin train sometimes wasn't working for you and it's just some experimenting. It looks like the coin train doesn't work if you activate the block while holding the P-switch. Well, there were times, Leo, when I activated the P-switch and it still didn't work, so... <laughs> Shame the people that use the cape. <laughs> You're playing video games wrong! You're a terrible person! That's problem solved. Sort of. God, I'm so tired of this level already. Alright. Time to take the scenic route back, guys.
Yeah, no, I, I love the cave. I wouldn't change it at all, honestly. You know, if, if I do really want to make it hard or I want to change how I play the game, then I, I just don't use it. But it's so much fun with it. I don't really care that much. Uh... <laughs> How does mommy look? Uh, tired. <laughs> oh, man. Now, this is gonna totally backfire on me because I don't have any of the Star Road shortcuts opened up. So it's like, do I even... <sighs> Now I now I feel like I need to open up all the Star Road <laughs> exits <laughs> just to warp to other parts of the uh, the game. Uh, why am I doing this to myself, guys? We're supposed to try to beat the game as quickly as possible. Honestly, I probably could actually do that Bowser's, uh, that castle now, because... I, I do have the cape. Which will make that second section uh, a lot easier. I mean, Timu, it... The whole overpower thing is, uh... It depends on what game it is and how said item that's overpowered is implemented. There are some games where it's like... Almost every weapon is useless except for this one weapon that is super powerful. And... It's like, you're not gonna play the game an alternate way. Um... Because it's just not fun. But then there are other games kind of like this, where you've got things like the cape, but or you've got the switch palaces, or blah blah blah, but you have some flexibility on, um, you know, what you do, or how you play, and I don't even know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Your granddaughter played Super Mario Brothers. She asked, where are the graphics? To her, the graphics are so dated she couldn't even perceive their existence. Oh, man. That's rough. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, exactly, Timo. If the whole game is, like, misbalanced in one way or another, like... that That's the issue with overpowered things. But if, if, if like... If it's really not broken to that kind of level, then I just see it as a different way to play the game. Like in Ninja Gaiden, the Spin Slash is overpowered. You kill everything in one hit. Guaranteed. Just about. But it's not like a mandatory item. It's not... You know... You don't have to use that weapon. And the game is, uh... More than completely, uh, perfectly beatable without it. And it's the sort of thing where, in that game in particular, a lot of people didn't even know you can kill bosses in one hit with it. So there's still people that watch some of my old Ninja Gaiden videos, and they're like, Wow, really? You can do that with that weapon? It's like, yeah. Hey, Tom, I am still alive, yeah. <laughs> I don't have any of these. Yeah, we'll open it the Star Road's not actually doing me any good right now. Huh, that works too. I was just gonna fly up, but this makes a little more sense. Actually, for this one, I think I'm going to need Yoshi, since I don't have any of the Switch Palaces done. Oh, come on. Oh, nice! Don't need Yoshi. Oh, so Raiden Lord was right about that, Leo. You only get one chance in that that ghost house. But that oh, we did it! <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> okay, I guess we're not doing castle number seven. I always forget what my preferred route used to be on Bowser's Castle. Oh, I remember this room. This room sucks. <laughs> Actually, you know, it really sucks when you're doing the SA1 hack, and there's basically no limit to how much they can split out. Oops. It's actually kind of funny seeing slowdown now. There's a little bit of slowdown in the original Super Mario World. It's not, it's not too common. 
Yeah, it is. It is crazy, Leo. I, I I have a SA1 stream archive here. You might want to go check that out. I think I got to that room and struggled with it. Yeah, that was like uh, right after I got my Mister. It's been it's been a couple of years now. Nice. Thanks, princess. Mike, I wanted to ask if you're still out there. Did you show her, um... Anything like Super Mario 3 or Super Mario World? I'm kind of curious where the line is for retro graphics for someone of that age. Bowser is pissed. Or more so, his vehicle is pissed. Look at it go. Hey, Aberdeen, still out there. Thank you very much. Princess's hair looks like it came from the 80s. Like an 80s nightclub. Hey, Darren. <laughs> yeah, you're a little late. We've been going for six hours now. Five the time, she's almost nine now and has warmed up to retro games, but they don't hold her attention for very long. The oldest game she likes is Kirby's Air Ride. Wow. And that game's not even that old compared to stuff like this. Hey, Aaron, what's going on?
Oh man, Leo, don't tempt me. They're like the sideways parts of Mario Odyssey. <laughs> I mean, that's... Oh, boy. That hurts my soul, hearing those words. <laughs> it's a totally different perspective than what we have, Mike. It's, it's just so hard to imagine. See, that's the problem. If I start Super Mario Land, then people are going to be like, do Super Mario Land 2 next! And before I know it, I'm going to be streaming for 12 hours <laughs> on an empty stomach. Mamma mia. Mm. Man, I don't know what to do. Well, I hate to leave like a good turnout, but I think I'm going to play it safe and end the stream now. I do actually really want to play Super Mario Land, but uh, I'm burnt out. And um, yeah, this is not going to be one of those like 10 plus hour streams. I don't I don't have it in me today. Um, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We had a great turnout again. And um, yeah, it was good times. Um, I'm going to get a little more food and then uh, I'm going to try to actually get some sleep. So Leo says he's getting worn out himself. Going to watch a couple TV episodes and call it a day. Yeah, I don't blame you, Leo. Looks like this is uh, not going to reset itself. It's one of those games where like you have to reset the console, but we'll just leave it as is. Well, actually, here's an idea. Let's just reset it. And we have some music here in the background. Yeah, I mean, Super Mario World was even like one of those things where I wasn't sure if I was going to actually do it. I mainly wanted to focus on the first three games. And it took us four hours to get through the first three games without using warps. Now, I did have to play Mario 3 somewhat creatively. Which is cool. Um, I did I did a lot of things very different to how I normally would do them in Mario 3, so that was kind of neat. Like, actually using the cloud and using the hammers and stuff like that, so... So that made it kind of interesting to go through. Hey, Patchouli! Hey, Crestline.
Uh, when will the archive be up? Uh, probably sometime tomorrow, Tom. If you ever want a fun alternate way to play World, try out Luigi on the Game Boy Advance port. Is Luigi available out of the out of the gate, or do you have to unlock him or anything? Yeah, no problem, Wonka. You're welcome. Yeah, and if I get really bored tomorrow night, I might even come back with another stream. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, no, this archive I, I will definitely post tomorrow, and I'll, I'll have a time coded to each game if you guys want to skip around. What you doing, Patchouli? She's staring at me. So Luigi's unlockable on the Game Boy Advance one out of the gate. Okay, cool. You hit L to switch Mario for Luigi from the world map. Okay. That could be fun. Pretty sure I have that on my Wii U. I mean, I could do it on the Mister, obviously. Ah, I'd probably do it on the Mister, actually, now that I think about it, since, uh... I don't have a SNES Classic controller anymore, so... I don't have a phenomenal controller for the Wii U's virtual console stuff. Patchouli's wide awake. What you doing, girl? What you doing? Come on up. Come on up, Julie. Oh, boy. She wants the belly rubs. Oh, that is a good point about the Wii U version, Leo, of Mario World. Yeah, you can remap the controls. That's actually a nice bonus feature. Good point. You could set it up to where it's just like the uh, Super Nintendo one, right? Tom says, Milo's gotten big. He's really grown much in actual size. I think he's more so just like floofy. 
His hair has grown a little bit since I've gotten him. And he's probably put on, like, a pound or two. You know, because he will gorge out when he gets a, gets a chance, but uh, he runs around all the time, so he's getting good exercise. Hey, you're welcome, Aberdeen. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I mean, Milo is, uh, he's, th he's three and a half, close to four years old now. I mean, he was, he was rated as three years old when I got him back in May. And we're just five months off from that, so, he, you know, he, cats don't really grow that much more. Like, three, three or four, like, you're probably not gonna see them change that much unless they, you know, unless they're just gorging out way too much. Then they'll they'll put on weight, but as far as actually getting, like, you know, bigger, like, you know, longer, um, that's probably not gonna happen anymore. He is a big floofy, he is a floofy kitty, though. He's, his hair is pretty long. He's a cool cat. Chilling right now. But, uh, alrighty, guys, that is going to do it for me. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, like I said, Archive will be up tomorrow. Uh, I have some quick plays in store. Um, I think I have three more that are going to be posted um, for channel backers. No, two more for channel backers. There's already one up right now that you guys need to access if you want to watch it before uh, I make it public this week. And um, I'm going to try to record another two in the next couple of days, hopefully. And then with all that content sort of prepared in advance, I can try to uh, try to focus on learning some other games that uh, I've been meaning to learn for a while, like Mega Man 11. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a priority once I get uh, those videos recorded and, and posted. So yeah, watch out for those. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll try to have some more live streams. Uh, one thing I do want to start doing again is is practicing games for future live streams. Actually, have some like um, I ha just have some you know regular content live streaming wise that's not random. You know. But, um, I don't know, like, uh, it's, it's been tough to find the time or motivation to do it, because it's, it's hugely time-consuming, especially as, like, I run out of games I haven't played before, and, or, you know, if I start focusing on some longer games, it's like, uh, I can't just crank them out left and right like I used to, so. Things have definitely changed here a little bit in that regard. Remember when I was working Graveyard Shift like five years ago, I was just practicing games left and right and giving you guys new, unique streams all the time, and uh, it hasn't been happening as much lately, like actual practiced games, so it's been a lot of variety streams and stuff like that, which uh, can backfire on me if I'm not really feeling it, if I'm just forcing myself to stream. Um, you know, like with my Mega Man Legacy Collection stream, that backfired, and my Neo Geo CD stream, that backfired. Uh, there's been a couple of others, too, recently, so... But, I don't know, we'll try to get back into the groove and try to get you some more, uh, quality streams. This was kind of nice, because it was just off the cuff completely, like, I didn't practice this at all, but, you know, these are games I've played hundreds of times throughout the course of my life, so pretty easy to pick up and play these games, and I uh, haven't done a Mario stream in a little while, so that worked out. You guys seem to really enjoy the Super Mario Brothers. But, uh, I do want to start trying to prepare some other stuff, too. Um, uh, maybe, maybe even Faxanadu is one of those ones I'll, I'll actually practice and go through the game again, since we had a couple people, a couple people out there that really want that. Again, I haven't done that playthrough in quite some time now, so... I guess it's time to finally revisit it. But, yeah. Uh, 
yeah, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Uh, I don't really think I have anything else to say. Uh, so thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And I guess, uh, until the next one, take it easy.